Hello, my name is Nate McDowell. I'm the Venture Incubator, and we're working on a project that will disrupt the food donation system and recreate the way that food is donated to people in need. The problem I'm focusing on is the inefficiencies of can drops. I realized this problem during a talk with my dad of reflecting my days as a lower middle schooler and the, uh, the can drives we held here at school. We could quickly, quickly identify the inefficiencies in the system. The inefficiencies were the time and labor spent for transportation, the low nutritional values of some food donated, the lack of education and connections between students and the recipients, and the total cost of cans versus bulk orders. I took a look at the SCH Thanksgiving food drive. Although the amount of donations were small, from a nutritional standpoint, it was pretty good. The donations consisted of 50% soups, 30% beans, 10% veggies, 5% fruits, and 5% pasta and potato. I did, however, see some things that I did not like in them. There were processed foods such as ramen noodles. These are the exact types of food that the food banks do not want to receive. Through my research, I found out what food banks want, and this helped me imagine the link between uh, food banks and potential distributors. Food banks need food that is quality. This means food that is high in protein, nutritious, and long-lasting. This, this does not mean food like ramen noodles. Through my talks with the Germantown Avenue Crisis Ministry, the food bank that uh, Sprigs such as Hill donates their food drives to, I learned the best foods to donate are peanut butter, jelly, canned tuna and salmon, beef stew, or other soups that are high in protein. This is because these foods are healthy and help the people in need stay healthy. And Mississippi is the state with the highest rate of food insecurity. However, they are also the state with the highest rate of obesity. Why is this, may you ask? This is because the people who are food insecure do not have the resources to buy food that is healthy. They only have the resources to purchase food that is cheap and easy to serve, like ramen noodles or other processed foods. This is why it is so important to deliver food as efficiently as possible to the people in need. My solution is to create a web of food banks throughout the Philadelphia area and connect them with a potential distributor such as Provena Pro Foods. The current donation supply chain starts with the parents buying cans from the grocery store uh, at a market price. Then, at this on the shelf for a while, the kids bring these cans to school where they collect them in a certain area and the donations are packaged. I would like to stress the packaging step because packaging odd sized cans in odd sized boxes is an extremely arduous task and takes a lot of time and labor. Then the cans are delivered to the food bank where they are sorted and the bad food is discarded. Then the food is stocked on the shelves for, for people to purchase and the uh, eat. However, my system cuts out many of the inefficiencies. Money is donated directly to my uh, corporation via an app or other mobile platform. The bulk order is pur purchased with this money. The bulk order is a, um, uses all of the data from the various food banks, and they construct a list of the items they need, and we order them as a whole instead of each food bank ordering them separately. Then the food is packaged and shipped, and it arrives at each food bank separately, and it's unpackaged and stocked on the shelves. Another part of my uh, program is youth education. I believe that without proper education, uh, kids are not connected to the source, and they have a skewed vision of, of poverty and, and uh, people, the people who are receiving their gifts or donations. I think that targeting and educating uh, kids in schools and explaining to them how much more they can do if they stop donating cans and start donating money will have a great impact and help promote my cause. The next steps are um, finding out the bulk pricing from various distributors and how, how I can efficiently uh, buy and deliver these uh, packages to the food banks, the mobile platform through which they will purchase the items, and the potential partnerships to, to, to the distributors in the Philadelphia area. Thank you.